Hi guys, welcome to this Excel course for beginners. In this video, we are going to take an introductory look at resizing your rows and columns in Excel. Now, as you can see from this example here, with a workbook where we have started to add in some of example data for a stock list, but the data is not particularly readable because with the columns are a bit too narrow. So you can actually see the full details in your inventory number or ID and a number of other ones are not particularly easy to read either. So to be able to resize our columns, there are a number of ways of doing it. So one of the first is to hover over your columns and go between any two columns. So if we want to widen our column A, we go to the intersection between column A and column B, click on it hold and then drag and that will widen out your columns till it's wide enough to see your data however far you want to go with it this also works if you selected a number of columns and hover over the in any intersection grab it and widen out and it will widen all the columns to the exact same width another way of doing this is to either select a single or multiple columns right click and come down to this option here column width click in it and then we can select a particular width unable within it out that far you can do the exact same thing with your rows with a select a single row and you can make it a little bit taller or select multiple works in the same way and again if we right click this time there is a row high right so remember the place to find these options is if we come to the home tab and come up here to the format option in the sales group click in this you have your rows and your column your row high then your column width options which give you the exact same pop-up box that you get if you right click in the side the other options we have here if we select our columns is we can also fit either the row height or the column width so if we select that you will widen it now to exactly as wide as the largest data in those cells so we can either do this for a single column or we can select them all and order to fit the data and now we can see all our heading as well a final way to look at resizing your rows or columns is we should make uh, this a little bit wider if we select a row we can make our auto fit to the contents by selecting this wrap text button and what this does it wrap up uh, the text in the cell and make the rows high enough to the contents all that data so we click in wrap text you can see that it has made the row high as tall as the tallest item so if we select all our cells we can widen this out make it more readable so even if you widen it out when the wrap text button is selected we say at the last setting of at what is on now if you want to make it fit to the tallest now we can select a row again go up to this format tab and select auto fit row high and it will narrow it down so it's the same high as the tallest bit of data in there. So that's a, just a brief introduction to resizing your rows or columns in Excel. Hopefully you find this video useful. I see you in the next video.